I ended up in a field in North Dakota um, that actually belonged to a fellow by the name of Gabe Brown. And this was early April 2014, and it was a field that he had planted the previous autumn to a multi-species cover crop that he actually fed to his cattle. That was a real moment for me. All of a sudden, it meant that I needed to keep my soil covered. So I came home and, and changed my thought process and tried to adapt what I'd seen in Gabe's field to my own. When we get a heavy rainfall event, once upon a time I would see soil literally like chocolate brown water running from my field, whereas now that water's clean. So that was the first benefit. Um, the second benefit is a reduction in the, in the necessity for um, synthetic forms of fertiliser. So I've been able to significantly reduce the amount of, of nitrogen in particular and phosphorus that I've been applying to my fields. When you plant a multi-species cover crop, how do you harvest it? Well, guess what? They harvest it for me and they turn it into beef. So there is my production. Most of us know how good worms are at um, helping to improve soil function. Well, dung beetles are even better because they actually dig big burrows in your soil and they take that dung down inside the soil, but then you've got all this other good stuff like your water and your air infiltration that follows those dung beetles down into the soil. So it's, a, it's another way that I can address those key underlying issues that I started with. You change your intent from having a, a bare, dead fallow to a, a covered, living fallow. 